Hello everybody, Prince the Bear here, and we're back at Halloween Horror Nights because we promised you all the vegan food at Halloween Horror Nights. You guys have been asking and waiting so very patiently, so we are here to compile all of the vegan eats for you at Halloween Horror Nights 31. So while the ghosts and ghouls are craving flesh, we're going to go create some plants. Be sure to save the animals and the planet. Here are the girl. Here we have these beautiful vegan fries. If you get it without the vegan pepperoni and sausage, it's actually gluten free. Otherwise, I'm gonna enjoy my gluteny pseudo cheesy, not really melted fry. I don't need to grab some sauce. There's like sauce. So I don't know why they put sauce at the bottom, but there's sauce at the bottom. So cheers to pizza fry. I have to say, this is 10,000 times better than last year's pizza fries. The fact that they added vegan um, elk meats just really adds an additional element of flavor to it that I'm here for. I kind of wish it was melted a little bit more that they didn't have any vegan ones ready, so they just kind of just threw mine through the oven, and it's not fully melted like the non-vegan ones are. But it's still really delicious and flavorful, and I'm probably going to finish it, and I didn't expect that I was going to, considering how much I wasn't into it last year. So I'm gonna give this a four and a half out of five pizza fries. I think this is an amazing addition to the vegan options for Halloween Horror Nights. I don't, I'm not as conceited as to say that anybody in universe will listen to me. We don't have any universal friends, but there was probably very few people on social media that ranted about how terrible the pizza fries are in Universal during Halloween nights than I did. I thought pizza fries were absolute trash. I thought the vegan um, version of pizza fries last year was even worse. It was $12 for the fries with just marinara sauce dumped on top. It's terrible. Now Universal over the course of this year has definitely upped their plant-based and gluten-free game, both with their labeling and their consistency with writing options for everybody at every festival or event. This is a huge step up. Already more points in my book for the uh, plant-based meats and the cheese. It's not perfect, but I don't expect it to be. This is still like within the first week of the event. But the fact that we have this option, I will admit, I am a little bit proud of Universal. Let's uh, look into the plant-based cheese. We have the crumbles. Let's get a, a pepperoni. Let's get another free. Full fork, the delicious. We got a little bit of sauce in the bottom there. I I love and appreciate the sauce in the bottom. I appreciate that the sauce is on the top, making it soggy. But also having to dig for it. Maybe sauce on the side is delicious. <laughs> you know, it's giving me pizza fry. And the pepperoni, the tinge plant-based tasting. Um, I expect that pepperoni is a really strong, unique flavor. It's one of those ones that's really hard to replicate. Sort of like um, rib, but not as complicated. Um, but you definitely taste the plant-based nature of the planet. But that, combined with the crumbles and the cheese, makes for a really good dish. Now I'm saying it's time for vegans to actually try the pizza fry. I will revoke all slander from the previous years. If you're vegan and plant-based, vegetarian, it's time to come try to pizza fries. Give it a four out of five plus. Once again, we have veganized the sweet potato fries. You got the sauce and the graham cracker little crumbly guy. You just need to ask for no chocolate chips and no marshmallows. Thank you to the um, Universal Orlando Vegan group. They got a new page. I'll put that uh, link in the description box down below. They're the ones that have looked out for us to be able to get this the last two years. 
I'm gonna get a nice little bite with uh, the chocolate syrup here. This is my dessert. Mm -hmm. It tastes like candy. And I'm here for it. Like if you want a nice big filling dessert, this is the dessert for you. Something about sweet potato and chocolate is just, it just hits right. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. This is really good. Here's the return of these uh, sad modified sweet potato fries. Literally just uh, chocolate sauce and a little bit of graham cracker. I don't even see the graham cracker in here. But uh, we need some vegan marshmallow. You gave us vegan pizza fries, you actually did it right this year. I gave you props for that. But you're not getting a pass on this trash. $11, $10.99. For some of the fries with chocolate sauce on it. You'd be ashamed of yourself. We're only eating this because the community needs to know. Not to buy this. Yeah. Does it take your breath away? No. It takes the breath out of my wallet. It doesn't take my breath away. The soup dinner fries really cook well. Chocolate sauce. I mean, if you're gonna do this, you can give us a little bit extra. Just saying. Which is all you need pass for this. Two out of five plus. and then extra ghost pepper. Don't let them skimp you. They got plenty of that stuff back there and trust you, not a lot of people are getting ghost pepper. They're not going to skimp you on that if you ask. Mm. It just tastes like potato. I don't even get a tingle. Got a Peter tingle. Got a Satan's tingle. Got the pumpkin lord tingle. Oh wait, there we go. We have 0.5 out of 10 on the spice scale. We've had better. Two and a half out of five plus. I'm kind of scared of this chili Lee Ray because I've heard that um, it's super spicy if there's no quinoa and I see no quinoa in this. So I'm a little bit scared. All right. It definitely tastes like chili. I'm feeling the multi beans. It's not as spicy as everybody hyped it up to be. I would say it's like a 5 out of 10 on the heat scale. You're definitely going to feel the heat. But it doesn't have the juice. It's 
corn. I will give it like a four out of five. Chili Lee Rays, I don't think that Chucky would approve of this chili. I think he would want more fixes. Chunky fixes. So a nice bowl of chili with a lot of greens on top. There's an awful lot of greens sitting on top of this chili. And that, is it a like a plant experiment? Is this plant people chili? This is this plant people chili. Uh, with a healthy dosing of this plant-based cheese. I'm gonna dig deep, because I feel like this thing was not mixed well. I'm seeing huge chunks of beans, tomato in here, this uh, fake feta cheese, and oh, there's the quinoa. I'm a very, very bottom. Get that quinoa, it's important. Oh, there's the heat. I was wondering where it was. Try another bite. Like side of the mouth. Without the quinoa. Try another bite without the quinoa. Without the quinoa. No difference. Either I'm dead inside, which might be true. You are. You are. Might be true. Um, two? I'll be nice. 2.2 .2 out of 10 on the spice scale. There's like a tickle in like the back of my cheek. It's hard to recognize that as like actual heat. But. It is actually fairly good chili. Um, I would have never thought about adding quinoa to chili, but maybe that's where it belongs. With the other like really sharp flavors, the city of the tomatoes, the beans, and then the, the feta, it adds something that soaks up the juices and the quinoa blends in really well with that. It gives it a little bit of texture. Uh, so even though it's not spicy, I actually think it's not bad chili. I'm gonna give it three and a half out of five plus. Just don't come in and believe me you're gonna feel anything. The spice is not there. It's got the juice? It does not have the juice. It's got as much juice as AJ did, or OJ did running down the freeway. Oh! When I was expecting like Simpsons level chili cook-off kind of heat. Uh, cauliflower dish. I'm super excited for this. I've been secretly obsessing over goju gang at home. So I'm excited to have some version of that here in the parks. Okay. Lightly breaded. Very deliciously sauced. It's almost like a sweet and spicy sauce. The spice is like um, I'm gonna say like a 6 out of 10 on the heat scale. If you're not tolerant to heat things, you're not gonna wanna get this. But if you like heat, I think this is a good little choice for you. It's super fried, and it's actually like the most popular option that uh, we saw being ordered. So, um, yeah, I'm into it, and I give it a four out of five cold bar. Fired to the zombie brains. Apparently zombies brains are made of the cauliflower. Now all of a sudden the apocalypse makes a lot more sense. The nice, huge green onions, some of my sesame seeds. I'm excited for this. This is this is this is our stand of the festival. I'm convinced to make this work, even if it tastes terrible. Mm. And it absolutely not tastes terrible. There's a nice crispness to the cauliflower, so not soggy. Goku Gang is nice and sticky. With a little bit of spice, I'd say maybe like a three out of ten on the spice scale. And the green onion sort of set that off. So it's not too much. Overall, I'd give this four and a half out of five balls. This might be my uh, Halloween Horse snack. Rain. So we have this beautiful cauliflower goju cake. So good. I had to get it again. Beautiful, it's crispy. I got it for two reasons. Number one, because it's really good and I love it. 
probably one of my favorite things here. And number two, I was really missing the crispy tofu with the Asian glaze from Hollywood and Vine. So this is as close as I'm gonna get to that without paying $60. Definitely more spicier than we had last time, but I'm here for it. If you don't need anything here, eat this. This is a five out of five. Revenge of the cauliflowers. Or the meats, meats. After Hollywood Vine, I feel generally bad on eating anything that Brent just get. I'll admit, in retrospect, I was a bit greedy. I'm saying that as a gochujang burns my mouth from the back, from the front to the back. I'm hitting five or six out of ten on the spice scale, much spicier than before, but still a great flavor, it's got a nice balance of the green onions. I'm still saying there's something you gotta get. This is legitimately well themed and well done vegan thing. Five out of five claws on the bare necessities list. If you're plant based and you're not getting this, even with all the fake meat you're surrounded by, you're doing yourself a disservice. of like a maple syrup or a chili syrup. I picked the chili. My first Uncrustable ever was last year at Halloween Horror Nights and now we get a fully vegan, don't have to modify it, to have a deep fried Uncrustable with some spicy goodness. Let's see how it is. I got a bite of peanut butter and I got a bite of the Chili oil. I love the combination of the two. I feel like the ratio is right. The spice is right. It's like a three out of 10 on the spice scale. So it's like just the right amount of spice really. With this beautiful like deep fried goodness up in here. So much yes. I'm giving this a four and a half out of five PB and J's. This is one of the better PB and J's I've ever had. Mind you, I don't usually PBMJ, so yeah, I'm into it. I had some questions from both the community and personally about what this sort of like uh, spicy chili PBJ was going to be. Uh, last year, it specifically said uncrustable. This year, it just as PBJ, we can in fact confirm that it is just an uncrustable uh, with its like chili flake sauce. I really kind of feel like there should have been more of than like the chili maple syrup. I guess you don't want it too sweet and too hot, but it's, it's nice and thick. Got a little weight to it. Let's see if this is the snack of the year. Mmm. Woo! I definitely got a mouthful of both the peanut butter and jelly and the chili maple sauce. You wouldn't think that chili starts with a spiced maple go well with peanut butter and jelly. That's actually quite, quite does. Now I used to eat peanut butter and syrup sandwiches as a child. I guess I know it's a little disgusting. But it was a thing that my family did and I quite liked them in that same form like warm. Um, and the maple syrup really only helps with that. The spice isn't like super spicy. It's maybe like a one out of ten on the spice scale. But it gives a little kick which I like. I give that four out of five plus. Sambusa. We had one at Mardi Gras. Um, 
Disney did one for Food & Wine. And I, I'm here for the Sambuso War uh, almost as much as I'm here for the Aripa War of Disney and Universal. I don't know if you can see much of what's in there. It's quite a bit. I'm excited to try it though. <laughs> It doesn't have enough lentils for me. It's, it's got more of like the carrots and potatoes, I want to say. And it needs a little more curry seasoning. I'm actually slightly disappointed with the, the sambusa. I was expecting a little bit more. The bread, though. The paste reminds me of like that pasty pie. I don't like the innards. I'm gonna I wanna try to get another night. I think it's like a consistency issue. So for this one, I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five, but I really feel like if done a little bit better, this has the potential to be one of my favorite things. So we'll see as time goes by, we'll have more Halloween Horror Nights videos and I'll let you know as uh, the event goes on if this gets better. We're just losing to have the coffee. I always get the food after she destroys it. And she leaves it a mess. Now, uh, I can't say very much for what it's filled with, but it is filled. It is packed. I don't really see any air pockets in there. You're definitely uh, getting a filling filled coffee. Because we eat coffins often around here. is missing something. It's like an indiscriminate mush with a little bit of kick at the end. Maybe like a 0.5 out of 10 on the spice scale. You can taste some spice, like they meant to spice it, maybe it was a bad batch of the filling. It just feels like it's missing something. Something more than an actual body. Two out of five plus. And I'm going to switch it again. Now, I will say that yesterday when I was talking about this, I said that there was one at Food & Wine. Now, that was a samosa, so that was kind of rude of me to say. This is a sambusa, so this is different. Got lentils on the inside. It does look a little bit more packed today than it did the other day. quality thing yesterday. It even has like a nice little aftertaste of heat to it. And there's a salty element to it too. It's definitely a lot more flavorful. I, I'm gonna up my rating on this and give it a three and a half out of five. Coffins is way better than it was before. It's just a matter of like inconsistent cooks. Nobody puts princess in a coffin. Even the Sambusas. Where's the dancing music? Nothing? Lame? Oh yeah. One trend I know that we see over the course of Halloween Horror Nights is that it is definitely one of those events that gets better with time. First weekend is all fancy. This is when everybody wants to go. You can easily skip the first weekend and come to the second. The food is definitely better on the second weekend than the first. We got in their groove, everything's coming out, running smooth. This is definitely a big improvement of where it was before. Nice filling cooked all the way through. Got a little kick to it. It's a four to five flaws. That's a good improvement in only a couple days.
not about beautiful. There's a lot of mushroom in here, but that's a good source of protein for you. I'm excited about these sweet potatoes. And then we have um, some onion and some vegan feta with this beautiful like tomato mole sauce that immediately upon served, a raindrop water went in it and splashed both there and I, so we both got covered with sauce. Cheers to the sauce. It's got the juice. about this entire Hollywood Horror Nights. Given all the, all the theme food, tacos, like actual good tacos, is a rare thing in Florida. Okay, a dip of the mole. Mole, 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 mole. A little drip tray. Get a little pitch. Perkiness here as well with like the sweetness, the sweet potato with the cheese cheese and then the, the mole sauce. Vegan cheese is wonderful. Um, I wish I had a whole plate of these, like five or six. I tried the bare plate. It's some good flavors though. I'm giving it four out of five bucks. moment when you buy vegan chicharrones and then you forget that you bought them but we got vegan chicharrones they are available at the Dias de los Muertos stand as well as the Lombard's bar we're gonna try these beautiful little desserts this reminds me of like cinnamon twists and taco bar. But like a million times better. Mm. Mm. So good. I think this is my new favorite dessert of all the desserts. It's got like this nice little design with this nice flaky cinnamon sugar, like light puff. This is amazing. I'm here for this. I'm giving this a five out of five, and it is a princess city. This item. Always say yes to vegan chicharrones. I mean, very interested to know how they made these. They're very like unique looking chicharroni. I'm surprised how much like actual chicharroni they taste. Same for the crunch. Same for the bacon. Probably a little bit easier in the mouth, honestly. Nice cinnamon sugar. 
I think the flavor is going to be punched up like half a notch. Other than that, it's pretty good. Sugar skull, sugar chicharrones, four to five plus. That has been everything vegan here at Halloween Horror Nights 31 in Orlando. We had a great time. It was a definitely an epic quest eating all of this food. Yes, it was. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Yes, it's definitely been fun. Universal has definitely, once again, stepped up its game at its festivals and events with plenty of plant-based options, vegetarian options. And their labeling this year has been wild, vegan, gluten-free, nut allergy. More of that, Amazing. please. Yes. But I want to know, after everything you guys have seen, what here would you eat or what do you want to see more of? Let us and Universal know in the comments below. If there's anything else you can see us do at Universal Orlando or otherwise in Orlando, that's also going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, well, how are we going to know to do any more spooky stuff for those holidays? Or any holiday, anything. Otherwise, we'll see you in the fall. You heard the girl. <laughs>